Hello and welcome to another Moog demo library. In this video we're going to look at how to patch Labyrinth duophonically. How to create two independent voices from Labyrinth's two sequencers, parallel signal path, two envelope generators, and the utility mixer. First let's start by tuning our two oscillators. We'll turn down the sequencer CV ranges and even the sequencer amounts so that they're both getting a zero volt reference voltage. And we'll raise the mod VCO and VCO levels in the mix and turn the ring mod and noise down and use the trigger button to play them at the same time. And let's tune them to the same root note. That's close enough. Next, let's set up our two independent voices. We'll turn down the mod VCO in the mixer and just have the VCO level up in the mixer. And we'll create a second mix using the utility mixer by taking the mod VCO output, patching that to UMix2 input, and the noise generator output and patching that to the UMix1 input. And we'll turn the UMix level one level down for now so that we're only getting the MVCO, the modulation VCO. We'll patch the output of the utility mixer into the input of the filter. Now we have one voice comprised of the VCO going through the wave folder and a second voice comprised of the mod VCO going through the filter. We can patch the sequencer 2 trigger output to the EG2 trigger input to decouple EG1 and EG2. So that sequencer 1 is driving EG1 and sequencer 2 is driving EG2. And finally we'll take the EG1 output and patch that to the VCW VCA input and the EG2 output to the VCF VCA output. So that the VCA on the filter path is controlled by EG2 and the VCA on the wavefolder path is controlled by EG1. Now when we start playing we'll hear both voices at the same time and we can use the blend control to hear our first voice or our second voice and blend them together. Now if we raise say sequence to two CV, CV range and the sequence to two amount all the way up to quantize We can start to get a sequencer going in sequencer 2, while sequencer 1 is kept constant. And we can raise sequencer 1 a little bit to have two melodies that are playing off each other. And both will be in the same key since we tuned them to be the same root and they're both going through the same quantizer. We can even change the length of sequencer one to get polyrhythms. sequencer 2 constantly rotating against sequencer 1. And we can fold in a bit of noise. To our second voice. 